Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Active Ice Cold Therapy. So this is like a little cooler. It's got a pump in there. I've got mine filled with ice. I've got frozen water bottles in there too. This is where the return water is gonna come. We've got two pipes. One pipe carries the, the cold water and the other one carries the return water back to the cooler. Okay, so it comes with this power supply. You gotta plug this power supply in. There's the model number. Input is 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Output is 12 volts, 1500 milliamp. And so you're gonna have to plug this into the controller. So plug the output of the power supply into this controller. Now this controller has another line going out of it. So the line going out the top of the controller, you're gonna plug this into the actual cooler. There's a spot right here. You're gonna plug that in. Now they do have several different attachments. I've got the knee and joint pad attachment. You will have to attach it right here. So when you attach it, make sure you push that tab in. So you gotta push that tab in while you're pushing this in and it will kind of snap into place. It doesn't matter which one goes where. One's gonna be cold water going to the unit and the other one's gonna be cold, uh, hot, the other water coming back. Now what's nice about these, these are check valves. So I've got the pump on, I've had the pump on. Water does not come out of these. These are actual check valves. So you got to get the water to come out, you gotta push these in. Again, push that silver thing in. Now it does come with a spare O-ring on that tube. But the O-rings are already installed just in case you need to replace that O-ring. Okay, so when you turn it on, the cold water is gonna come in. It's gonna flow through this pad. Then the, as the water gets uh, cooled off, or as it gets warmer, it's gonna go out this other. So it's always pushing water in and sucking water out. Okay, so let's go over the controller. You turn it on with this center button. Now it's gonna start off at four, but if you press it again, it's gonna to go to three, two, one, and zero is off. So that's how you turn it off. But four is the coldest setting, three is not so cold, one is the warmest setting. And what that's doing is, so when you've got it on four, you can tell the pump is speedy, is turning really fast. So it's gonna circulate that cold water a lot quicker. When I go to three, the pump's not turning as fast. And when I go to two, the pump is, you can hear the pump, but it's turning noticeably slower. So the flow is gonna be less going through this. And that is very cold. You can see those, those inflate just a little bit with the water. And you turn it off. Okay, so once you've got it turned on, now you're gonna turn the time off and the time on. How long do you want that water pump to, to run? So 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes, 70, 80, 100. Looks like I can go all the way up to 200. Yeah, it can go really high. I'm up to 550, it hasn't stopped yet. Again, that's how long, these two buttons here are time on. How long is the water pump gonna run? Now the time off, you wanna, so you want this to turn off once in a while. You don't want that to, it could kind of really get you pretty cold. So when it turns off, so say you've got this set, I've got this set to so time on, let's say 10 minutes. Now when it turns off, how long do you want it to stay off? Eight minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I can, I can adjust these with these two top buttons, plus or minus, I can adjust the time off. So I want it to stay off 10 minutes, on 10 minutes. Yep, there you go. So that's kind of a nice feature. And then if I say it's been running, I want to turn it off. Just keep hitting this button until you see no LEDs display. That's the center button. Again, four is how fast the pump is turning. That's going to put more cold water in here to less time on and time off. So basic measurements, you know, the pad itself is right around 11 inches to the opening here is about five and the overall it's about 11 does have this insulation so you can lean these tubes up against your you know your leg or something if it was exposed these don't get really hot now if this tube inside there was it if it didn't have this covering on it, it could get kind of cold next to your leg okay so I've got mine on you're gonna put there's a line inside there where to fill you're gonna fill it up with water first up to the line then you're gonna fill it up with ice to the this level right here where the water's coming out so this is how it's operating under normal circumstances we've got the ice packs and the water's being circulated over the ice. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is fill it up with water right to here. Then you're gonna go from here to the top of this tube with ice. I use ice packs. They say to use frozen water bottles. It can hold up to six frozen water bottles. That way, and it says it lasts longer if you use frozen water bottles than just regular ice. 
So let's do some dimensions in here. There's that water pump. This is overall right around 10. You know, front to back is about six and three quarters. The water line is right around the three inch mark and all the way to the top is about seven and a half inches. So this has really been helping. This was this would be very good after a knee operation. I'm using it for my elbow. My elbow's been in, having some pain lately. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.